today we are discussing the bromination of the phenol here we can see that during the bromination of the phenol we cannot get ortho and para product but instead we have we will get 246 tribromo phenol this is mainly due to oh group is strongly activating group so we cannot limit the product even in ortho and para position instead of that the both the ortho and para position is substituted similarly in the case of the nitro benzene sorry amine amine means the nh2 group it is attached to the benzene ring the nh2 is also an strongly activating group that's why we can get the uh, both the para position and sorry both the ortho position and para position is brominated very instant at the instant so we cannot isolate the ortho product and para product individually okay now whereas in the case of the chlorobenzene we can isolate the ortho product and uh, para product okay this is mainly due to the chlorine uh, it is an electron withdrawing group and it is a uh, deactivating group but even then that it is this is only an exceptional case but in the case of the chlor uh, the benzoic acid the acid group is a strongly deactivating group so in the case of the coh group that is a deactivating group the final product is nectar product the nitration of the benzoic acid is only one product we will obtain that is the metto nitro benzoic acid whereas in the case of the nitro benzene nitro benzene during the nitration using the sulfuric acid and the nitro benzene always use the sulfuric acid as a catalyst during nitration so in the nitration of the nitro benzene we will obtain only the single product that is meta nitro benzene now now we are moving into the explanation of why the activating group always give the ortho and para product this is we are explaining this product using resonance effect see the resonance effect of the benzene uh, sorry phenol see see in the first case first resonance structure of the phenol the lone pair of electron in the oxygen is donated to the benzene ring okay so we will get the five resonance structure in this five resonance structure in the structure two three and four uh, we can see that the negative charge is isolated in the ortho position and para position so in the case of the electrophilic addition electrophile means it is an electron deficient species so electron deficient species can accept the electron in the starting material so here we can see that in the case of the phenol the negative charge is only isolated in ortho and para position so the electrophile file will attack only in ortho and para position <laughs> similarly in the case of the nitrobenzene sorry in the amine also the negative charge is isolated or located in ortho and para position so we will get the uh, ortho and para product during the electrophilic substitution reaction so the phenol and amine are the strongly activating group that's why we will get the ortho and para product now we are we are moving into the toluene the toluene is a mildly activating group or uh, it does not it uh, accelerates the electrophilic addition reaction not not due to the resonance effect resonance effect but is mainly due to the hyperconjugative effect hyperconjugative effect means here there is no lone pair of electron to donate to the benzene ring but even then the ch sigma bond is act as an electron donor and this uh, the ch the electron pair in the ch sigma bond is donated to the benzene ring so here in the re uh, resonance structure we can see that one of the ch bond is uh, is dissociated and hydrogen become h plus and that electron pair is 
located in between the carbon of the methyl and carbon in the benzene ring so that that's why the neighboring negative charge is in the ortho position and that negative charge is resonated okay the resonated in the ortho and para position so this effect the donation of the sigma bond to the benzene ring is known as hyper conjugative effect so the methyl group or alkyl group or aryl or allyl allyl group so uh, these bond these groups are mildly activating group so in the case of the alkyl group also we will get the ortho and para product this is explained on the only on the basis of the hyperconjugative effect now in the case of the deactivating group especially in the case of the nitro carboxylic acid uh, and cor and cor in that uh, function in that uh, substituent is attached to the benzene ring we will uh, always get the meta product this is mainly due to i have quoted the resonance structure of the nitro benzene in the bottom of the slide here we can see that there is no negative charge is isolated anywhere in the resonance structure i have shown the four resonance structures and the negative charge is anywhere located in the ortho and para position but instead that in the ortho and para position we can see a positive charge that means the electrophile again i am remembering electrophile is a positive electron deficient that means positively charged electron deficient species that it have a positive character so the electrophile cannot move into the ortho position since they are also positive so that's why they can only attack in the meta position okay these are the explanation of ortho and para directing product in the case of activating group and the meta product in the case of deactivating group i always remember that the nitro the uh, the easy method to find out the activating group is that group consisting of the electron pair or electron uh, lone pair of electrons in the atom which is directly connected to the benzene ring or the atom or group consisting of the multiple bond and which can donate which have the capacity to donate pair of electron to the benzene ring but in the case of the nitro coh uh, in that case the nitro the nitrogen and oxygen the electronegativity difference between the nitrogen and oxygen is very high so that's why that that group donate do, cannot donate the pair of the double bond to the to the benzene ring that's why the easy method to find out the uh, deactivating group is that group consisting of the multiple bond which cannot donate into the benzene ring hope you understand the concept thank you